Hey, hello, welcome everyone to this video. So, okay, in this video, I want to talk about language specific uh, linting and language servers. Okay, so what do I want to uh, elaborate on? Okay, so I'm going to make a new folder. Oops, I'm going to make a new folder here. I'll just call it number five uh, language specific uh, okay, C sharp. Okay, I mainly for now. I mean, C sharp is not my uh, favorite, like uh, favorite in terms of language uh, philosophy. Anyway, but it is a very pra practical language. I must say, uh, it has a lot of uh, add-on. Its ecosystem is huge, and you can do a lot with it. Okay, so how do you set up Vim with C sharp? Okay, mostly you can use Omni Sharp Vim to deal with uh, C sharp. So let me. Yeah, I can't even see things here because it's like in dark mode. But okay, yeah, OmniSharp. OmniSharp, uh, you can search OmniSharp in uh, C Sharp. It says it's .NET and IntelliSense for all platforms. That's what it's uh, advertised, it's being advertised as. Okay, .NET, .NET and IntelliSense on any platform. So I do have it on my Arch uh, Vim RCs right here, OmniSharp. Okay, OmniSharp is right here and you can do lots of things with uh, OmniSharp as well. You can integrate it with Ale and you can configure its pop-ups. So that, that is a nice thing. So uh, again, lots of options to explore here, but you'll just be largely dealing with the out-of-the-box thing. So you can see if you want to install OmniSharp Vim, you can install the OmniSharp Vim or New Vim plugin with your favorite plugin manager. You can install the linting plugin and select a uh, have a selector plugin like control p and all that this is optional and make some mappings so we'll just be going through the basics here just to get started not too nothing too complex or fancy okay so uh where does omnishop fit into this ecosystem here which i talked about in the last video okay so omnishop uh it can do a lot of things as well however we want to keep each uh each program to where it's best suited I, I said that uh, Vim LSP, it can support a lot of languages, but it may not support C Sharp ecosystem that well. So we want to kind of, for C Sharp, for the case of C Sharp, we want to take this out of the picture. We want to put Omni Sharp here. Okay, we want to put Omni Sharp here to be the mediator between the LSP client and server to help it to supply uh, information to the AL linting engine and also to async complete. Now let's take a look at the readme to see how well it integrates. Okay, so now uh, here its features. Its main features is that it can provide these completion sources for async complete Vim, Conquer of Completion or COP, NCM2, Dioplete. So it seems that OmniSharp already comes with a lot of support for async complete Vim. So in a sense, this, this branch here, this branch here is already taken care of. You don't need to really worry. Next thing we need to do with OmniSharp is to make sure it integrates well with Ale. Okay, and also, also it doesn't do it, uh, too much pop-ups and other things as well. But let's take a look at uh, whether it can do Ale. Okay, Ale, Ale is actually supported by OmniSharp. You can see here, if we want to install Ale, if Ale is installed, it will automatically be used asynchronously to check your code for er errors. It says here, no further configuration is necessary. However, be aware that Ale supports multiple c sharp linters and will run all the linters that are available in your system. So let's limit Ale to use only OmniSharp. Okay, so add this line to the Ale linters. Okay, add this line to the Ale linters right here. So I'm going to copy this as uh, readme specific and i'm going to paste it here so i'm just going to put a uh, uh, omni sharp omni sharp vim okay so i'm going to delete all of this i'm probably going to uh, do that later uh, yeah okay and i'm going to put over here uh, i'll change this to omni sharp is best for LSP server interaction. I'll probably edit the, the readme of the video time. And what, what do I need to change inside the Vim RC? Or the, the, the init Vim. 
Yeah. Okay. Just put the just make sure I have this here. I will put over here, I'll put C sharp. The only thing that should be uh doing it here is Omni Sharp. Omni Sharp. Okay. So C sharp only uses the Omni Sharp linter. Uh O Omni with a capital O S with a cap or capital S. Okay. Okay, hmm. and uh, of course before I forget, let me turn on screen key again. Okay, and there you go. Uh, C sharp will be using Omni sharp. Let's turn the O to a capital, S to a capital, and that is it. That's basically it. <laughs> we we don't need to do anything. Of course, we need. Uh, I also forgot to do the plug in. So let's let's do the Omni sharp plug in. Okay, we already have file type uh, plug in in that on and syntax enable. So let's do syntax enable here. Okay, where is my yeah? Oh, syntax on, syntax on, and syntax enable. I think they're the same, pretty much the same idea. I think I could be wrong, but if there's an error, I know where to check. It's probably here. Okay, for Vim plug, we use OmniShot uh, Vim. Okay, so uh, C sharp support, C sharp support. Oh my, I put this here. Uh, I'll put plug Omni Sharp Vim here and I will delete these lines. Okay, so C Sharp support Omni Sharp Vim. I'll make sure that C Sharp only uses the Omni Sharp LSP. Okay, async complete already has the uh, already has the completions provided by Omni Sharp. So don't use anything else. Do not install the Vim. Uh, do not install the Vim LSP. For Omni Sharp, uh, do not do not run LSP install for for Vim Omni Sharp, and we we'll just leave it as that. One more thing, very important, uh, is you be aware of the frameworks that we are using. Okay, for Arch Linux, for Arch Linux, you kind of needed to be very aware. Okay, from version six of uh, Omni Sharp Rosalyn for Linux and Mac OS. Okay. Okay, so uh, a nat .NET native 6.0 version is available. So OmniShark, uh, before you install it, okay, I mean, uh, after you do this OmniShark, you need to run OmniShark install. You need to specify the server that you are using. So the, the server you use in Linux will be .NET 6 if you are running a .NET framework. I mean, a .NET core application. So that's why I have this uh, G OmniShark server use Net6 and then you're supposed to run OmniShark install. Okay, so uh, let me put that in the README as well. Okay. And I'll put it in a uh, put it in here. Install OmniShark using uh, in BIM uh, OmniShark install. Okay, so this is how you install OmniShark. Okay, so uh, let's see. Uh, on Windows, on Windows, uh, here's the manual, uh, manual, manual installation. Okay, to install the server manually, you can do this, but I'm not going to do that. Okay. Yeah, so here's the OmniShop install you can use. I will just use OmniShop install. I won't always specify the version. Okay. And yeah, just to be careful, I want to make sure that I will only use Net6 for my OmniShop. I mean, this is a Linux instruction, but uh, you don't need it not specified for Windows, but I'm just, I just like want to make sure it's really .NET6. Okay, so uh, here are my OmniShark settings. So it's only specific to OmniShark. Okay, so use Net6 is one. Then after, you must make sure this is done properly before you, you run your plug install and your OmniShark install. Okay. What, what, uh, what else? We have already checked the 
Ale Linter. Synthetic is kind of being deprecated. Ale is the latest version. So uh, if you take a look at the Synthetic uh, syntax checker, it says it's a deprecation mode. Uh, no, this project is no longer maintained. You might be interested in Synthetic Synthetic's spiritual successor Ale. So even Synthetic's pointing you back to Ale. So don't don't bother too much with Synthetic if you want to use the latest ones. Okay. Here's our uh, semantic highlighting, diagnostics, and they even have for you, uh, if you want to check an uh, example vimrc file, you can just copy and paste all of this. They'll tell you what to do. That's at the bottom. Okay, for me, I just want to make sure, uh, uh, yeah, these ones are with pop-ups, okay, pop-ups. But again, okay, I will just use the vanilla install, so to speak. I'll use it as vanilla as possible and see, let's see what, uh, if it provides satisfactory performance. Okay, so it's a, it's getting pretty long, but it's not as long as, you know, it could be. Also, the plugins take care of the uh, things for us. So I'm just going to uh, uh, copy all of this down. Or rather, I'm going to commit this to GitHub and then I'll copy from the Git page. Okay. OmniShark added. So I'm going to commit this here. I'm going to copy and paste here. So I'm not going to use dev. I'm going to use uh, github.com because dev is the VS Code editor online. Okay. Uh, and let's go to language specific C Sharp. Uh, I can just copy and paste this uh, vimrc here and that should pretty much do it. Okay, I have my c sharp omni sharp here and that. Let's copy and paste all of this into our vimrc and see whether it complains about syntax. Let's just go up. And of course, I'm not going to erase this. This is very important to make sure that Python is actually working properly. Oops. Uh, yeah, this is the correct one. Uh, I'll leave the comments down there. Okay. I'm going to source this. And I'm going to plug install. So that, that will help us with OmniShot Vim and... Yeah, OmniShot Vim and... Is there any other plugins? I don't think so. It already, uh, has, it already has native uh, work things with ale. So, yeah, I'll do that. And then I'll do Omni Sharp install. Okay, and while, while waiting, of course, we can start uh, to look at some C Sharp files. So, uh, oh, okay, let me the whole. I can't really use Vim now, so uh, I will just I will just pause uh, my recording, fast forward the video. And I'll see you later. Okay, um, welcome back. So OmniShop has uh, concluded installing. So let's test out its capabilities. I mean, I don't have any .NET projects right here. Okay, so let me just clone something from from uh, wherever. And uh, I'll, I'll do some uh, demonstration. So what I'm going to look for is, for example, something really complex, uh, OPC UA uh, C Sharp. Okay. So this is a GitHub for OPC UA. Very complex, uh, very complex as it gets. Yes, ASP.NET Core, everything is inside. Okay, so this is something I want to try, okay, and uh, use this OmniShop uh, NeoVim setup. So I'm going to vSplit, I'm going to uh, uh, do a terminal here, term PowerShell, okay, and git clone whatever this is. And it's going to take a fair, fairly long to set up. And I'm going to reload my nerd tree by pressing Shift R or capital R. UA net standard is here. And what I want to do is go to my applications library and go to reference server. And this is specifically for OPC UA. 
uh, it's a very complicated C sharp, but I, I really want to push and test how well this Omni sharp actually works. So let's go go here and I'll go to program.cs. And then the first thing they'll ask is, okay, which uh, solution you want to use? For this UA net standard, I will use solution number three, UA reference dot solution. Why? Because uh, the first thing they tell us to do in this uh, in this place is to use .NET restore UA reference solution. So this is like the solution of all solutions. So that's the main solution I'm going for. Okay. Uh, required library could not be found or whatever. So that there is some there are some DLLs that are missing. So it looks like we'll have. I wonder if there's a uh ESP and .NET. Ah, .NET is not even installed. I have to install .NET, obviously. Okay, so let's install uh .NET. Uh, and then I'll get back to us. Yeah, really, pardon me for this hiccup. I didn't even realize I forgot to install .NET on my virtual machine. It's installed on Arch and my dual boot setup, but not here. So okay, this is the obvious prerequisite if you want to do .NET development you have to have the .NET uh, to set everything here as well so this is the SDK 6.4.00 and that's probably the reason why I'm getting all those errors on new bit so uh, let me just uh, let me just make sure that uh, you you I'll just put put something here to say you have to install the .NET SDK obviously right so prerequisites do I have a prerequisites here? I'll just do a prerequisites. Okay, prereqs. For this, for this, you should have .NET Core installed. Obviously. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to paste this here. I'll just leave the link in the description or rather in this readme. And that is done. Okay, I think I need to refresh PowerShell because uh yeah, I'll get I'll get it done. I'll get it done. All right, so now I actually got the .net running and installed. Pardon me for that. Yeah, the, the way I found easiest was to use winget. Winget install Microsoft.NET 6. You make sure it's on the path and everything. So I'm just going to copy this and paste it here. It is... Uh, oh. Not, yeah. Okay, I'll put the PowerShell here. PowerShell. Uh, one, two, three obviously you need this and let's let's try our vim again inside the same place uh, and vim i'm going to cd uh, all the way to my uh, where am i going i can't remember that documents i think cd let's see uh okay cd yeah new net standard and now open it up there you go again uh now I'm going to go to the reference server. Uh, I'm going to open up program.cs. Okay, again, reference solution number three. Open up. Okay, and I'll do an Omni Sharp install. Okay, it will hang for a while. My whole beam will hang for a while. So just wait for that. Actually, yeah, that the, the extra install wasn't necessary. It, it should have been uh, whatever. Yeah, it should have uh, been already uh, adequately installed. So I'm going to close and open again. You'll see how it works. Okay, so uh, I'm going to fast forward and I'll do the .NET uh, solution build install, whatever I need to do. Uh, .NET solution restore, yeah. Ah, one more note. One more note before I go. Eh, before I fast forward to that bit, uh, if everything is working correctly, the syntax should be highlighted slightly differently. Now you see this uh, blue color syntax highlighting. That's a sure way of knowing that 
Omni Shop is actually working pretty decently. Okay, so you can see, let me open and then let me type some nonsense here. This thing should lint quite soon, if not straight away. Okay, my git gutter is working, but I don't know why my linters are not working now. Yeah, but this, this actually shows that Omni Shop is sort of working. Let me split it up. And I will term ZSH. Oh, I don't, there's no ZSH here. Pardon me. Wait. Uh, we split term PowerShell. Okay. Uh, let me do a .NET build. Okay, and I'll do the console ref console reference server. Project. Project console reference server. Okay. Hold on. Oh, I wasn't even CD to the right file. Okay, applications first. Console reference server and .NET. Okay. CD console reference server. And I'll do a .NET build. Okay. And I'll do console reference server.cs project. It take a while as usual, but it should be fine. Okay, so um here, here's my uh my code and I can just do a .NET run with project uh console reference server.cs project it should run properly. Okay, so uh yeah. Omni, Omni Shops. Oh, I also need to specify framework. Okay, fine. Framework. Framework. Net 6.0. Of course, with uh, Windows, you can use Visual Studio, but I like to stick with Vim for minimalistic thing. You know, ask whether I can allow uh, this console reference server. Yeah, this is a ASP Net Core kind of a. Is dependent on that and it's running OPC UA. So this thing, uh, yeah, it's working on that uh, very program. So the server has started and it's telling us, okay, use Control C to exit. Okay, this thing works. It's an example server. Okay, so let uh, again my linting isn't quite working for some reason. It should be working. It, it was working in my Linux setup. So. Maybe let me just uh, exit and restart this again. And let's go cd to the right directory. UA2, UA net standard uh, applications. And I'll cd there and I'll open up net tree. Console reference. Oh, by the way, the font size too small. You can do plus uh, control. Uh, equal that kind of thing it will make it a lot bigger very nice to use okay uh it works like alacrity as well control plus control minus that will get it done okay next thing is let's do a console reference server open my ua server.cs use the correct solution and reset it and uh, yeah everything's working nicely term z shell Oh no, PowerShell. This is Windows, so I've got to use PowerShell. All right, and now let's type some nonsense and see whether it links properly. Yeah, now it's linting properly after a few restarts. It says uh, public must receive member type and name. So you see that the lint the linting is actually working pretty nicely along with OmniShop. So there's a lot more you can do with Omni, uh, OmniShop. There's a lot more you can do with Ale. This is just the bare minimum and it's already pretty good. So, yeah, uh, there's a lot of potential we can explore here. But for now, I'll stop because, yeah, this is just a bare minimum setup. 
can uh, go go for it as you like. Uh, leave it to you to go and set it up. I like bare minimum. I like vanilla. I don't want to hassle too much with it. I just like my plugins working without any hassle. Okay, so thanks for watching. See you again. Bye bye. Now close.